Today we will see examples of prime factorization. A puzzle game is going on in a classroom. The teacher has written a puzzle on the blackboard. The puzzle is, I am the smallest number having three different prime factors. Tell me, who am I? Ajans reply is 6, Vijay's reply is 105 and Namrata's reply is 30. In your opinion, who gave the correct answer? Let's read the puzzle once again. I am the smallest number of three different prime factors. Tell me, who am I? That means we have to find out the smallest number with three different prime factors. Now, to find out the smallest number, the prime factors should be small. But they must be different at the same time. So we will choose 2, 3 and 5. To find out the smallest number, let's multiply them. Therefore, the result of 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 is 30. So we can say that Namrata gave the correct answer. Next example, find out all the prime factors of 120. Prime factorization is the method of expressing any number into its prime factors. Let's do the prime factorization of number 120. In order to do this, we can choose any method between factor tree or division method. Let's use the factor tree method here. First of all, we will find out the factor pair of 120 whose product is 120. There can be many such pairs like 4 and 30, 8 and 15, 5 and 24, etc. If you feel any difficulty to find the factor pair, then you can use divisibility rule to find it out easily. Please read these rules by stopping the video. Since the n digit of number 120 is 0, this number can be divided by 10 which means one of the numbers among factor pair of 120 is 10. To find out the second number, we divide 120 by 10. By doing so, we get the second number of the pair, which is 12. As you can see, both 10 and 12 are composite numbers. So, we can express them in their factor pairs and extend factor tree. Can you find their factor pair? Think, think about it. Let me tell you. 2 and 5 is the factor pair of 10 and 3 and 4 is the factor pair of 12. Since 2, 3 and 5 are prime numbers, they cannot be divided further. Which means the branches of factor tree cannot go further. But number 4 can be definitely divided. The factor pair of this is 2 and 2. Thereafter, the branches cannot be extended. Now we can express 120 as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. In this way, we have found the prime factors of 120. Therefore, to find the prime factors of any number, divide it into the branches until we get all the prime numbers. Next example. Which of the following numbers has both 2 and 3 as prime factors? To find the solution of the given question, we have to do prime factorization of 84 and 105. Let's first do the prime factorization of 84 by division method. In this method, we divide the number with the prime numbers like 2, 3, 5, 7, etc. again and again. The smallest prime number is 2. Since 84 is an even number, it is divided by 2. On dividing 84 by 2, we get 42. On dividing 42 again by 2, the result will be 21. 21 is not divisible by 2, so we will check the divisibility by next prime number 3. Since the sum of the digits of number 21 is 3, which is divisible by 3, therefore 21 is also divisible by 3. On dividing 21 by 3, we get 7. Since 7 is a prime number, we divided it by 7 only. 
In the last stage, we will get number 1 which shows that we have found out all the prime factors of 84. Therefore, 84 can be expressed in prime factors as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7. Now let's find the prime factorization of 105. In order to do this, let's use factor tree method. So, for 105, we will find a factor pair whose product is 105. 15 and 7 is one such pair. Similarly, factor pair of 15 is 3 and 5. Since there are prime numbers at the end of all branches, we can say that the factor tree of 105 is complete. Therefore, we can express 105 as 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7. As you can see, both the numbers 2 and 3 are the prime factors of 84 only. So, the answer of the given question is 84. Today, we saw some examples of the prime factorization. In the next video, we are going to see some misconceptions and common mistakes related to it.